Welcome to Sled Solutions Product TV. Today we're going to talk about the Rox Flex Tech handguards. The Rox, Rox Tech, they worked awesome this year. I got 1,200 miles on them. They've they've just held up wonderful. I, I couldn't say enough good things about them. The way that they're mounted. And a piece of Velcro here that goes around. Cover that comes off here. As you can see, there's the backbone that is the structure that holds these in place. The reason I like these so much is because as you can see, the backbone is flexible. So if you roll the sled over, it just pops right back to where it's supposed to be. Um, I've rolled this sled numerous times this year getting out of a stuck situation, uh, flipped it on its side. You know, they always bounce back, they don't break. I got this on my Pro, um, I had to do a little improvising with the mount, had to tweak it a little bit, so I'm not recommending using them on anything with a Pro Taper style handlebar, um, only because it is going to require you to do some modification to the mount. If you feel like you can do it, then no big deal, they work awesome. In the event that uh, you have a standard set of handlebars, you'll have to do nothing. They'll bolt right on just like any other handguard. And from the front side, you can see you got a couple bolts there holding it to the uh, handguard bracket. And the handguard bracket itself just kind of, there's a set screw that holds itself right there. The issue has been on the brake side, there's not enough clearance to get it up and over the brake cylinder on this particular machine. Um, again, it can it can be done. It just takes some grinding or some twisting of the stock the bracket. cover, which is just cloth, uh, it's held up pretty well. And I've, I've hit everything from little tiny branches to big branches. Um, and I'm really surprised they've stayed in one piece. Um, the covers are, I know the covers are made by skins for rocks, but uh, I'm not sure on the rest of it. Uh, I'm sure the backbone is also made by made by skins. Uh, pretty awesome product. I really like it. I, I was skeptical. By the time but you add up a standard Power Mad uh, handguard and you add the rocks uh, flares to them, you're, almost, you're about 15 bucks away, 15, 20 dollars away from just having a set of these. These aren't cheap, They're, they run 145, um, but honestly if you were to buy the whole set of Power Mad stuff uh, to, to get that full coverage, you'd end up being pretty close to that price anyhow.